Welcome to our Recharge Stretch Break. I'm Coach Clint, and today I'm going to take you through about 10 minutes of a global approach to wellness. So we're going to go ahead and start with some breathing. We're going to go ahead and get you stretched out, and then we're going to get you back into your day. So let's go ahead, and I'd love for you to join me up on your feet for this stretch break. And let's go ahead and start with our feet about elbow width apart. So if I take my arms and I draw a line straight down from my elbows, I want my feet about that far apart. Go ahead and relax your arms down at your side. Close your eyes for a second. We're gonna do a couple of breathing techniques to kind of bring you down, bring you into this stretch break. So go ahead and close those eyes. Breathe in through your nose as long as you can. Fill up as much air as you can. And then we're gonna let it out nice and slow for about four seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Breathe out, four, three, two, one. Let's do this time, breathe in, and then hold for four, let out for four. Breathe in, hold, one, two, three, four, and let out, four, three, two, one. Now breathe in through your nose so you warm up that air. Here we go, breathe in, last one. Hold, one, two, three, four, and let it out, four, three, two, one. Now go ahead and open your eyes slowly so you can let that light back in without blinding yourself. Go ahead and get your feet about shoulder width apart now. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a couple of big arm circles just to kind of loosen things up. And I don't care if you go forward or back, just nice, big arm circles. Nice, big arm circles and stop and go the other direction. Whatever way you went, now you're just going the opposite, just loosening up those shoulders, waking everything up. Good, and now we're gonna go ahead and go into those shoulders and T-spine a little bit. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see where I'm going, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point my hands out straight. From here, I'm gonna do a couple of open sweeps. So I wanna slightly bend my knees and I'm gonna open up by opening the door, reaching behind me. Try to keep those hips pointed forward and my left hand points forward, my right hand points back. And I look where that back hand goes and then I close it back down. And then I go the other direction, open up. Let that breath out as you rotate. Again, try to keep those hips forward, close it on down. Let's go one more on each side, open it up. Breathing out helps you go a little further. Close it down. And don't worry if one side's less than the other. <sighs> Open up this side and close it down. It's pretty normal that one side will be a little tighter. So same position. Now we're just gonna take it into the shoulder a little bit more. I'm gonna take my arm straight up. So I reach straight up to the sky and then I reach behind me. <sighs> Palm points forward just like before. Then I close it back down. We're just gonna do one of these on each side. Up over the top. Close it back down. Good, now let's point to the front of the room. Okay, make sure you're a shoulder width or a little wider, wherever you're comfortable. Hands on top of your head. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna peel my elbows apart as far as I can. So peel those elbows apart. Puff up your chest, and all I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna do a couple of circles just to finish out that T-spine. So I'm just gonna rotate. I'm gonna try to keep my hips pointed forward, and I'm just gonna take one elbow to the back of the room, come back to center, go to the other side, keeping those elbows pulled apart. This is just getting us ready for our next one. Close it back down to center. Good, now we're gonna go into a bent over position. So bent over row position, hips go back, slight bend in the knees, nice and flat from the top of my head to my tailbone, okay? I'm gonna take my thumbs up towards the sky, opening up my chest, thumbs up to the sky, squeeze those shoulder blades together, let it back down. Good, open up, let it down. Good, one more, up. Let's hold with this one, hold for just a second. Pinch those shoulder blades together, thumbs up. 
Now take your left hand to left toe, so little slight turn, rotation. Now go the other way, right hand to right toe. Come back to center, keep those shoulders pinned together, and now let it down. Stand up, nice and tall. Good, next one. Some of my favorite stretches that I took from high school way back when, we're gonna go into a nice shoulder stretch here, isolating the shoulders. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reach our palm up to the sky, and I'm gonna pat myself on the back, I'm gonna reach over the top of my head, try to put my hand right between my shoulder blades, right below my neck, I'm gonna pat myself on the back, I'm gonna reach up with that opposite hand, grab that elbow, give myself a slight pull to the side. Now I don't wanna to go too far, I'm not turning this into a side bend, I'm just pulling the elbow and leaning over just enough so I feel that stretch here in my tricep, underneath my armpit and my lat, and maybe a little into my oblique. Just a nice little pull. Three, two, one, come back to center. Take that same arm, reach straight across your body. The number two stretch we all learned in high school. Hook the other side and hold. Three, two, one. One, you should feel that one right in that shoulder. Release, take the other hand up to the sky and do that nice mindset thing along with stretch. Give yourself a pat on the back. Feel good about what you've accomplished today. Reach over the top, grab that elbow, pull to the side. Remember just enough that you feel that stretch, okay? Maybe just a hair pass, but not so much that we're in a full side bend. Three two, one, stand straight back up. Take that arm across the body. Now notice my palm points back, right? As I hook across and I pull across and I'm not turning my body, I'm trying to keep shoulders and hips pointed forward and pull that arm across. Three, two, one, and Relax those arms, shake it out just a little bit. Do your best impression of a dad dance. Okay, shake those shoulders up and down, whatever you like to do. Now you're gonna take those hands, you're gonna interlace those fingers behind your back, just like so, and then you're gonna pull them down and under your glutes and puff up your chest a little bit, okay? So this is all about getting those shoulders isolated back and down so we can do a nice neck stretch here. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to pin our chin to our chest. Pin that chin to your chest. Now I'm going to take my nose and I'm going to try to touch my left shoulder with my nose. Left shoulder with nose. Keep breathing through this whole thing. If you want to close your eyes, you can. Chin to chest again. Now I'm going to take my left ear to my left shoulder, left ear to left shoulder, straight across if you can. Good, chin to chest. Now we're just gonna look up to the sky as high as you can. Again, if your eyes are closed, that's fine. Just look up, try not to arch your back, just look straight up with that neck. Chin to chest. Now let's go right ear to right shoulder, right ear to right shoulder. Now one side might feel tighter. Just go where you feel that good stretch. Maybe just a breath past. And then return back to center, chin to chest. Let's take nose to right shoulder. Good, three, two, one. Chin to chest and now look straight ahead. And this you can open your eyes if you want. We're gonna go ahead and finish out this neck part with just doing a neck circle the opposite direction as what we just did, but not broke up. So I'm gonna point my chin down. Now I wanna pretend like I have a laser pointer on my nose and I'm gonna make as big of a circle as I can. So here I go, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm making as big of a circle as I can, going towards that right side first, drawing a huge circle with that laser pointer nose. And then back to center and look up. And we're gonna finish this stretch break out with a nice little leg series here. So I'm gonna go about shoulder width again. I'm gonna push those hips to the back of the room. Try to keep those knees fairly straight. Little forward fold here. Once you hit the bottom end range, okay? 
you can just bounce just ever so gently okay so don't not ballistically like make it look like you're trying to break yourself just gently let gravity and some of that movement help pull you down towards the ground <sighs> breathe in and out a couple of times now come up to a nice tall position I'm gonna take my right leg back. This is our last stretch on each side. I'm digging my toe into the ground. I'm gonna drive my hip forward. So it's a hip flexor stretch. I'm looking to feel right where my hip pocket is in these shorts. I'm gonna drive forward, leaning forward, but keeping that back leg straight, chest upright. Feel that stretch. If you want to, you can add a little cross rotation. So right hand to my left knee. That's just to help drive into this front hip a little bit. Two. One, relax back, switch to the other side. Drive forward, feel where that stretch is. And you might not go as far as I do, that's okay. Reach across, get that little cross twist if you want. Three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up. Let's get you back ready for work. So go ahead and breathe in nice and deep. Fill up as much as you can, and then let it out as explosive as you can. <laughs> Good, one more time, in and out. All right, thank you for joining me for this 10 minute recharge. I enjoy having you guys on here. Again, I'm Coach Clint, and please let me know if you need anything. You can always reach me at clintx.carlson at intel.com. I'd love to hear from you guys. Make sure that you're checking out those other on-demand videos within the ergonomics section and also those group X section if you can't make a live class. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks for coming.